What's up guys, Deep Cut here with some big news. We finally have a release date for Steven Universe Future and it's a lot closer than we thought it would be. We also have a new synopsis with some more hints about what is to come and some behind the scenes info from Rebecca Sugar herself. But before we get into that, I just want to apologize. It is currently raining here, so you might hear a lot of background noise. Sorry about that, but let's dive into it. The release date was officially announced on Twitter, with a new promo poster letting us know that we will be having a one-hour premiere that is four episodes on December 7th. This is less than a month away. It is barely more than two weeks away. This is all happening so fast. A four-part premiere is kind of scary to think about. Will they be four standalone episodes, or will they build upon each other like they do in typical Steven Bomb structure? I can't wait to find out. Still no word on how many episodes there are, but based off of the recording sessions in the studio, there should be about 20 episodes, so this will be about one-fifth of the new series going up in one night. It's too much. It's too soon. With the release date came a new synopsis for the series. It says, In the next installment, Steven Universe Future, after saving the universe, Steven is still at it, tying up every loose end. But as he runs out of other people's problems to solve, he'll finally have to face his own. Haunted by the past and lost in the present, Steven begins manifesting new, uncontrollable powers that the Crystal Gems have never seen from him before. What does it all mean, and what does Steven want for his future? It confirms what we saw in the recent trailer, that this angry boy here isn't just Steven himself, but that something inside of him is controlling his emotions when he lets loose with his new pink Super Saiyan powers. Another interesting question they pose is, what is Steven himself actually going to do with his future? When asked about college way back during his early days, he said that he was probably just going to end up doing gem stuff for the rest of his life. But what will he do when there's no more gem stuff to do, as this synopsis seems to imply? It sounds like there are some bigger questions they might be answering here. Perhaps the biggest is who created the gems and for what purpose? I would definitely like to see that puzzle solved. There are also smaller puzzles to solve, such as Pink Diamond's history. A lot of people think of her story as finished, but honestly, there's still more to discuss here. Fans have described her arc as character development in reverse. We started the show mostly hearing about who she was towards the end of her life, and what a great and lovable person she was. The further back in time we go, the worse of a person she becomes, but one thing that was never really answered was this little fit we saw her throw on Jungle Moon. With the story up through Season 5, it seemed a bit out of place. In terms of storytelling, it felt like a red herring, something there to convince you that this wasn't Rose Quartz, but then never addressed as significant to the overall story. They seem to be revisiting this anger with Steven's pink form, with certain shots in the trailer designed specifically to mirror the Jungle Moon one. The show did a great job of addressing whether or not we are just doomed to repeat our parents' mistakes, and through the symbolism of Pink Steven, they were able to tell us that we are our own people, with our own minds, and that all our parents provide us with is love and life. That is true to a degree, but it does ignore certain genetic predispositions we all have. Perhaps with Steven's gem representing his bloodline, they will be having a conversation about how we are born with certain tendencies, ones shared by our parents, that are hard to control. How they will answer it all in the end, I'm expecting to be very satisfying. I didn't see the answer to Season 5 coming, and the metaphor they used was absolutely beautiful, so I expect they will have something similar going on here. That is all I have for you guys today. Keep in mind, we will probably be doing some sort of live stream after the episodes air, so subscribe to the channel and be ready to talk about some new episodes with us. See you next time!